Welcome to the instructional video on the use of the endoserter corneal endothelium delivery instrument. Open the package and handle the device using standard sterile procedures. Hold the device by the body and remove the white plastic platform card by gently pulling it down and away from the carrier end of the device. The device is delivered with the amber-colored allograft carrier already extended in the loading position. Hold the device so the side printed with endoserter faces up. The device must be flushed with balanced salt solution prior to loading. Connect irrigation tubing to the lure connection and flush with balanced salt solution. Remove excess moisture from the carrier with an absorbent sponge. Loading tissue should be performed immediately prior to insertion and deployment. Once loaded, do not begin irrigation unless the sheath is within the anterior chamber. Failure to follow the instructions for use may result in patient injury or damage to donor tissue. Allograft tissue is trefined by the surgeon to the preferred diameter. The endoserter is designed to insert tissue measuring less than or equal to 8.5 millimeters in diameter and 175 microns in central thickness. Apply a small amount of cohesive viscoelastic to the endothelium. Use a spatula to load the tissue onto the carrier, endothelium side up. Set the donor tissue within the boundary of the alignment holes on the carrier. Larger diameter allografts will overhang the carrier on the open side of the alignment holes. Do not allow donor tissue to extend past the front end of the carrier. Once tissue is properly positioned on the carrier, rotate the blue thumb screw in the direction of the arrow. As the tissue retracts and begins to roll, gently tuck the overhanging tissue under the opposite edge. Visualize the tissue loading until complete, and if necessary, repeat tucking the exposed edge. Allografts that do not overhang the carrier will not require tucking. Continue rotating the thumbscrew only in the direction indicated by the printed arrow until all action stops. Then, rotate three full revolutions past the point where tissue is observed to be fully retracted. Remove and discard the anterior cap. Roll the device 180 degrees so that the black deployment wheels and ocular systems ink face up. Firmly hold the black deployment wheels in position and gently remove and discard the locking guard. Continue holding the black deployment wheels while inserting the beveled tip of the insertion sheath into at least the center of the anterior chamber. The deployment wheels must be held securely to avoid damage to donor tissue during insertion. The anterior chamber may be deepened using gentle irrigation through the device. Deploy the allograft by rotating the black deployment wheels toward the patient. Move the black deployment wheels until the allograft is completely uncovered. The endoserter uncovers the tissue allograft. The sheath will retract toward the incision during deployment. Hold the device in position as the allograft deploys. After the allograft has deployed, hold the black deployment wheels in their position and remove the device from the anterior chamber. Discard the endoserter after use. An air bubble is placed to hold the tissue in position. For additional information, refer to the endoserter's instructions for use.